Alrighty guys, welcome back. Today we're back out here at the shop once again, as you guys can see here. Now, I came out here just a couple of hours ago. Business has been pretty slow, but since I came out here, I have been editing and uploading some videos for you guys. So, I've had a pretty productive day, but I just went ahead and finished my last video for today. And an offer has just gone ahead and came my way. It just popped up for a 77 F250 two-wheel drive. So I can actually pick up this truck and it's not cheap whatsoever, but I can pick it up right now. I'm going to go ahead and load the trailer, go get it. It's about two o'clock right now. So I go ahead and pick that up and we can get to work. Now I plan on working on this truck for the rest of the day just to see how far I can get. I currently do now have the axles to throw under it to make it a four-wheel drive F250 as well as a 71 F250 grill to throw in it. For those of you guys that don't know, those are my favorite front ends and body styles, second to the 77 front grill body style. But I just happen to prefer the 71 F250 front end look. Now for those of you guys that are looking into getting yourself a 70s model Ford F250, but it happens to be a two wheel drive, and you want to convert it into a high boy four-wheel drive, what you're going to want to do is buy a two-wheel drive. They're a lot cheaper. That's how I'm going to go ahead and get this one today. And when I get back, I'm going to throw some four-wheel drive axles under it in order to make this thing my dream truck, aka a 71 high boy, in other words. So without further ado, let's hop straight into this. So when I came here this morning, before I got working on some videos, editing them, uploading them for you guys, since I only did have this Ram here and the first gen here parked outside and uh, business was pretty busy last week. I did end up getting enough money to go ahead and pick up this 6.7 here, get a little build done on it. And now it's out here for sale. Along with this other 70 miles Ford two wheel drive. This truck, I didn't really care to convert it to a four wheel drive. I just decided to keep it as is. But I cannot say the same for the other 70s model two wheel drive F250 we're picking up today. 24 foot trailers already hooked up to the OBS, already parked here. All I have to do is just go ahead and throw up the ramps. As you guys can see, they're already raising right now. And really, the truck isn't that far out of town. So I think we can start heading there right now. I told him I'd see him in a bit. Now something I want to find out here is, can I, can I drive up this? I'm pretty sure I can. Going through this guy's yard just a little bit. But here's the other thing. We have a trailer. So can I make it up with the trailer, I wonder, and also make the turn as well? Ooh, barely, okay. I'm gonna be stuck just a little bit, but can this wide truck make it through the gates? Just barely, just barely. And looks like the trailer's just gonna get stuck a little bit, but that's all right. All right, we are now on the road on our way to get the new 70s F250 so we can get it back to the shop and convert it to a four-wheel drive. It's gonna be a great day, and I'm glad I could take you guys along for it. Should be should be a fun one for sure. Let's go ahead and turn it. And actually, we can go up this road, pretty sure. All right, so we're gonna go up this road here. We can cut through here, I believe. All right, and let's just keep going through here. And where's this house gonna be at? I'm pretty sure it's right up the road, somewhere over here. A little bit of a drive. Make sure no one's coming. All right, we're good. And right up here we go. This thing is screaming. Sounds pretty good for the Cummins. And okay, no one's coming. And right up to the truck we go. But we're actually in the road here, so let's go ahead and back up here. And now we're parked out of the way. OBS is now parked. Let's go ahead and check out this beauty. So it is red. does have the 77 grill in it, as you guys can see. No trim on it or anything. It's not the nicest thing in the world, but then again, you know, it's not bad. Now something that's a little bit important, did forget to mention, this thing is swapped to the 24 valve Cummins in it. Kind of forgot to tell you guys that. It's a little bit important and one of the main reasons I want to get it. But then again, it is not cheap at all because of the conditions in and the motor that is under the hood. He kept the truck so nice and he actually wanted to drive it sometimes, he said, so... But he kept it nice. As you guys can see, Ford, Ford 250 there. But he needed better mileage with his gas prices because of Biden, so he decided to throw a 24 valve under the hood there. Honestly, an amazing truck. I'm going to go ahead and grab the money 
and talk to the guy. I don't even think I need a test drive. I just want to get this thing home and get my conversion done. Then we can move on to test drives because if it runs and I can pull it up on the trailer, I'm taking it home. So I'm going to go and grab the money and get to talking. And I'm on my way up to the door now. Catch you guys as soon as we're done talking. The deal went great. He now has cash in hand. Now my keys are in my hand. And we're about to fire this thing up for the first time. Nice interior here. It is a five-speed manual. That's a plus. Super clean interior. I think he might have redone it. I've never seen I've never seen one this nice. Everything looks great in it. Sounds amazing as it's running right now. So while this is parked right here and it's warming up, I move on over into the OBS here and real quickly pull on out this way. Get the trailer all nice and straight. Don't want to get run over by the car there. And let's head on back over to the 24 valve swapped 70s model F250. And let's load this thing up on the trailer and take it back. Forgot to put the ramps down. Ramps are now going down. About got hit by a car there. Back in the 77 we go. And up on the ramps. And just like that, there we are. We're holding up traffic, but oh well. Ramps are going up. And it's time to take this thing home. Once again, the tow beast is back at it. Gotta love the Cummins OBS here. So now we have, I'm towing home. So I'm in a Fummins towing home another Fummins. Or towing to the shop another Fummins so that I can then drive it home. So pretty cool how that works. But anyways, a little bit of a drive back. I kind of took the short way there. Kind of to take the highways back, which kind of sucks. And singing has pretty bad brakes. Not the fastest thing in the world, but we're not taking the long... We are now taking the long way home, so I'll catch you guys as soon as we're at the shop. On a little side road now. About to get back on the freeway to go back to the shop. Alright, no one's coming. Whip the turn carefully. And we are going to be there in just a minute. Getting up to speed. This thing sounds pretty good. It's growling. And we're now approaching the shop. Let's go ahead and slow down now. Hit the brakes. And just barely turn in here. Go ahead and park right back at our other spot there now that I know I can get out. Might just keep the tow pig here at the shop. Alright. Gotta put the ramps down. Let's get this puppy unloaded now. Aw, oh, she's a beaut. I kind of want to keep it stock, but it's for a good cause. So, on the lift we go here. Alright, just like that. And now she's going up. Maybe. Yep, okay. Oh, she's going up either way. And with that, I'll catch you guys soon. She's done. And now she's done. Let's take her down. Would you look at that? I've done a lot to this thing. All the way from trim, as you guys can see, now some trim, to the 71 grill. Looks great. Aftermarket, uh, aftermarket cab lights, aftermarket headlights. Obviously, the new four-wheel drive axles, the lift, the wheels and tires, the exhaust. The drop hitch, the gooseneck trailer hitch, the Cummins sticker, this thing is insane. I can't wait to take it out. And best of all, new brakes, just because I had the axles all torn apart, had to do it. And for more power, a tuner. So let's hop in and test drive this baby. Fires right up, sounds amazing. You see it roll just a little bit of coal from the new tuner now. And now it's rolling a lot of coal in the shop there. Let's whip this thing out. Let's take it for a spin here. All right, let's get out in the light first, just to show you guys here how amazing this thing really is. Would you look at this thing? It's it's beautiful, man. Like by far, I'm never selling this thing. By far, my favorite truck that I own currently. So let's uh, let's take her down this way. Ooh, it's jumpy. Gets up to speed pretty quick, and brakes are just oh, they're they're so snappy. That's they're right now, right there. And you'll come right to a stop. This thing is awesome. Alright. Ooh. Watch the van. Might need to get a new steering box. But that's really the only thing I can think of. Romp on it past my buddy's house there. Sound pretty good. I want to take this thing home. But then again, the shop's still open. I'll just send one of my guys to shut it all up. Because I don't really want to get out. Well, actually, you know what? I'm going to take this thing home. I'm going to park it. I'm going to hop in my... Oh, I forget. Do I have a Lambo? I don't know if I have a Lambo. I forget what I traded it for. Let's see. Let's get to this road here. I need to check 
what car do I have? You know what? I'm going to take the Can-Am because one of my fast cars are at the shop right now. But I'm going to take that later. But that is it for today's video. That is it for our 77 with a 71 grill. Either way, it's a high boy now. And it is amazing. One of the best looking vehicles I've ever owned. And it makes it 10 times better that it has a 24 valve come and swapped into it. And this thing is just perfect. Make sure to leave a like if you guys did enjoy today's video. Let me know down below in the comments what you guys did think of it. Subscribe if you're new and you haven't already. And make sure to turn on those post notifications to never miss a new daily video from me. And with that, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to have an amazing rest of guys' day or night. And with that, I'll catch you guys very, very soon in the next one.